Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2. We are going to finish off World 3 today. Oh yeah, you betcha. And I think I'm just going to start here at the Cloudy Court. Who wants to meet me at the Cloudy Court Food Court? What would you get at a Cloudy Court Food Court get? Uh, galaxy viewers, what do you think you'd get there? Maybe a nice ice cream? Or perhaps a... Snow cone? I don't know. What sounds good? What does sound good, though, is if you've been enjoying these videos, continuing to like them is really, really good. I really appreciate that. Commenting on them if you haven't already. Subscribing, and there's the bell for notifications, which I'm just learning about after being on YouTube for a decade. Or using it, I guess. Inconsistently being on YouTube for a decade. <laughs> we'll say that. Just to be clear. I do wonder a little bit from time to time what would have happened had I stuck around with my previous channel and kept that going, but the reality of the situation is sometimes you need a little bit of a fresh start. I feel like that's kind of true for a lot of people, and I actually encourage it from time to time in various phases of life. And honestly, some people are a little scared to do that because you don't want to have to start over. You don't want to start at the bottom. But you know what? There's nothing wrong with starting over sometimes. There's nothing wrong with starting at the bottom. Because the opportunities that will come from a fresh start sometimes are even better than what you already had. So keep that in mind, viewers. Keep your chins up. Don't be afraid to try new things or maybe take a new spin on something that you used to do. That's kind of what I did, so... I would encourage it. At least give it a try. And... See what you can do. But anyway, we're in Cloudy Core. Oop. Oh, <laughs> that was almost the knockout. You know what? I wasn't going to do this, but now I'm going to kill both of you because of... Frustration. I killed that guy so hard, so hard he turned into a cloud. Alright, so this is a little awkward because I didn't mean to do this. But you know what? We're going to make it. We're going to make it. And we can do all of this right on, while I'm here since... <laughs> we'll try to push that cloud. Come on, cloud! Oof. I'm not being very careful right now. But there are... Doodles of Sturbits! So we will take them. We're just going to do the World 3 Galaxies today. By the way, as a bit of an update, I kind of paced it out in my head, and I think going forward, the round number that I settled on might be six. So, we're going to try that. And see where we go. Unless the stars are, like, absurdly easy, and then maybe not, but maybe there's going to be some really tough stars that I'll only be able to do four stars in a day. Ugh. You'd be like, I can't believe that somebody would do four stars in a day. That's not a YouTuber I want to follow. Okay, I hear it. Now, this is the part that I kind of goofed at last time, so... I feel like I want to preemptively make my cloud as I destroy Mario's head with re repeated concussions here. Okay, so... I hear it. Oh, there it is. Oh, uh... Okay, maybe, hold on. I have an idea. I think I want to do this. Huh? How about that, viewers? How about that, viewers? Boom! That's the first star. Hopefully these six stars that I do aren't, like... I don't want them to come across as being... You know, with six, as being rushed. So... I mean, believe me. I'm not good enough to rush through these, so hopefully you'll get enough meat and potatoes in these episodes. Six of them. They might be a little bit shorter than the previous ones, but, you know, you're still going to get full content, as per usual. It's just what I do. But I was actually going back and thinking about a comment I made in this video already about food courts because of Cloudy Court, and... I remember growing up, I wouldn't say I spent a lot of time in malls, 
That would be a weird thing to say. But I do remember... I don't think I saw it. I do remember I would go there from time to time with my parents, or at least my mom. My dad, not so much, but uh, my mom. She would stage uh, little volunteer drives at our local mall. And, oops, I do not want to be on top of the block. There we go. And so, eh, that's popping here. So she would stage little volunteer gathering things at the, or drives at the mall when I was a kid. And in the process, she didn't have anywhere for me to be. Didn't want to leave me home alone as a child, surprisingly. Come on, mom. It's just, you know, child endangerment. It's fine. Now, I would have been a good kid, but you never know that. But anyway, I still don't know how they ever expect you to do that the normal way, but... Oh! Okay. Oh, we're being chased. I was not paying attention. I lost focus. Uh, oops! Okay. Well, I think we're gonna be chased here. Is the giant boo mechanic coming back? Oh, the nice pair of giant boos. Stop it. That's right. Back off! It's one of my favorite things about the mechanic of the boo that's been around for a long time. At least since as early as one of the early, like maybe the first Mario games. When you look at them, they're all like, Stop looking at me, I'm shy. You're making me nervous. But anyway, food courts. That's kind of where I was going with this. Is uh, I spent a lot of time there at least. You know, I'd bring my Game Boy or something and while my mom was doing the volunteer drive, if I was too young to really contribute, which could have been pretty much any age, um, I would just go there, maybe get a slice of pizza. <laughs> I love the sound they make. There's like star bits under the stage that I'm like coming in contact with. Oops. Okay, he's like, get out of my way. I'm trying to have a snake. Okay, oof. Oh, I think I actually brought the boo with me kind of like, oh, there it is. I brought the boo with me kind of like uh, the Boulder Guys fight. But yeah, the the food court, whenever I would go there and uh, have some pizza or maybe some tacos and ice cream, which I should not have probably been having, giving my intolerance. Oh, boy. Okay. That was what I assumed to be going way worse than it actually was. I was a little nervous about that one. Oof. Okay. Well, so far, so good. That's two. Decent amount of star bits. Decent. It's always weird, though, spending time in the mall and how, over time, you know, it just became less of a place that people would go. I know that when I was in, like, I don't know, middle school? Or maybe a little younger than that, it was what you did on the weekend. You would get up and maybe go, if your parents were not like mine, let you go to the mall with your friends with 20 bucks and go to the arcade or run around, you know, a Spencer's Gifts or something, Hot Topic, whatever you were into. I was never allowed to do that. My mom and dad were pretty strict, so was not given those opportunities, which, you know, maybe not the worst thing in the world. I do feel like I missed a lot of what I would call in real life world building. I was a bit of an NPC in life. It was never really my own main character. But that's okay. And, uh... But it, I mean, I did mention arcades. I would go... I would go to arcades as a kid sometime, too. That was that was pretty fun. We had a, a little one in our mall. Our, I didn't grow up in a very big place, so... Everything was kind of small. If you want to think of it that way. Except for my, uh... My level of epicness. That has always been huge, so... You don't have to worry about that, viewers. I know that if I was, uh, somebody watching a Let's Play channel, and I found out that the person making the content wasn't epic, I kind of would just stop watching them altogether, and maybe, uh... You know? Find ways to... Maybe help them? 
I don't know. But anyway. We're doing fine. Hopefully you're doing fine. Life is what you make it. I do remember, though, for a friend's birthday, I think it was maybe his 10th birthday. Does anybody remember birthday parties? Like, wow. I, uh, for my friend's 10th birthday, I think it was, he had it at the mall, which was really cool. His parents were pretty creative when it came to mall birthdays. Or not mall birthdays. <laughs> his parents were creative when it came to just birthdays. I shouldn't have said that. A mall birthday was one of the ones that was just, you know, you wish you could have it. Like, you can have your birthday at the mall? Wow. So, we all would go to, um the local arcade and play games and stuff and that was a lot of fun but I remember we as a group of youths preteens uh, got ourselves in quite a bit of trouble because we went to the Spencer's gifts that was next door and said establishment had they had like novelty gag gifts and goofy shirts and whatever I think I've mentioned it before actually but um, they had fart spray which I don't know if you, if any of you know what that is, but it's just spray that smells like fart. It's meant to be stinky, and it is. I don't know how stinky it is, but, you know, they put it in the store expecting it to be a gag gift that you'd maybe buy for a birthday. Not use it in the store. But uh, we found ways to do it. Ooh, I can see the star. I just heard it, and I just saw it. Ooh. Sorry about that, viewers. That little change of camera angle made my brain all like, whoa. But we did go into said store, and we grabbed as much of that fart spray as we could, and had a fart spray war. The great fart spray war of my childhood. And, uh, it was very smelly. And the staff were very upset with us, and they kicked us out. <laughs> so, that's the first time I've ever been kicked out of the club. It was a little embarrassing, but, you know. Alright, where am I going? I heard it. Is that rabbit a clue? Is it near here? I don't think so. Um, let's keep going. Oh. I don't think this is it. Can I go back up? Oh, did I screw myself? Oh, no. Did I? Hold on. Oh, oops. I think I did. I mean, I can see it over there. Come on, game. Oh. <laughs> oh, that happened. Well, that's too bad. And I think I'd locked myself into this because of the... Yeah, we're gonna have to probably back out of this one. Let's return to the map. Oops. I got so excited about my fart spray story that I forgot to actually, you know, play the game properly. Don't you love that, viewers? My bad. We'll jump right back into it. No harm, no foul. We're having a good time. We're having a good... Gosh dang heckin' time. You guys are very forgiving and accepting, so... Thank you for that, viewers. Let's try green star number three for the first time. And I don't get any of those star bits that I collected because I backed out of the level, so... Oops. I'm not going to go... Oops. <laughs> I'm not going to go out of my way to get any more of them. If they are there, then I will take them, but... I'm not going to try to clean out that lower area like I did last time. I got a little distracted, but hey, some of these are presenting them. Oh, that's why I couldn't get this one up here. You know what? That's a huge butt. Having the game put the the boulder power up down here. That's lame. I don't remember which ones are the chips, so. I do get a little nervous, though, when I don't hear the ba 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 da ba like you're supposed to do a minigame with said power up. I'm used to the torture. Alright, let's quickly do this. I honestly think it probably was in that spot where the rabbit was. I was on the right track. I think it wanted me to jump into that abyss. And I did not. I did not trust the game. I did, I did not trust that Trix rabbit. Because Trix are for kids, and I am an adult. Although I did learn something. Is, um, for those of you who have ever had Trix, the cereal, breakfast cereal. Um, oh my, what is, what is happening right now? I would like to stop. Um, you associate... Oh, you know what? That really burns me up. I associate Trick Cereal with the fruit, the shapes of the fruit. I think this is not a chip. I know that the, um, I know that the one at the top of the hill is. Maybe it's the tree or that game statue or this. Nope, just more of these 
jerks. These turd burglars. Yeah, let's start with this. Alright. I associate tricks cereal with the fruit shapes. But apparently tricks cereal was always little spheres. Little little balls of fruit in your mouth. And that's how they started. And then they went back to it, I guess. So that's a fun fact, isn't it? I have more fun facts about cereal. This episode is not meant to have a bunch of them, but it's about to have at least a couple. So, Fruit Loops. Has anybody had Fruit Loops? For those of you not in the United States, Fruit Loops are just little rings of uh, crunchy flavored fruit cereal. And those are fruit flavored, which you might think, oh, they're all different kinds of fruit flavors. They are not. They're actually just one fruit flavor. Oops. Oh, wait. Oh, I thought I died. That is so sneaky, oh my gosh. Wow. See, I was on the right track, I just... I didn't trust myself, but anyway, first try. Yeah, so Fruit Loops are all uh, the same fruit flavor. They're different colors, but they're all the same flavor. And in different countries, I know that Canadian Fruit Loops, oh Canada, for you all up north, my friends to the north, um, your Fruit Loops are a little bit uh, Lighter colored and not quite as saturated, but that makes sense because in America we love to go crazy with our colors and artificial flavorings that are probably giving us all kinds of diseases and cancer. So, ugh. you'll notice there's pictures out there. Google like Canadian, um, Google Canadian Fruit Loops or something like that, and you'll see what I mean. It's kind of the the juxtaposition of Canadian Fruit Loops next to American ones are way less kind of potent in color. I don't think that they have, there might even be an, a, an entire color omitted altogether. So, just something to think about. <laughs> just makes me think that the, the silver chomp got stuck in there. It's like, ah man, I'm supposed to be home by five to have dinner with my wife and now I'm not gonna have dinner at all. I'm gonna miss practice with the boys. All right, so we do remember that this requires nunchucked Okay, so we're gonna be... This is actually a decent area to grab Star Bits too. But I also need to stay focused. Oh, 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 okay. It's tough to grab the Star Bits in the areas where you're also rolling because using the pointer will just send Mario wildly out of control. And I like to be in control. Chaos control. Okay, here we go. I was never much of a cereal kid. At least once I realized that I had lactose intolerance. It's <laughs> probably smart, right? Uh, but I didn't actually realize that for the longest time that I could not handle a dairy treat such as a nice bowl of cereal. Which, I mean, it's it's subjective. Like, you know, it depends upon what it... Ooh, oh, no, no. I'm just trying to go backwards so I can get more of the star bits. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Okay. Yeah, it took me a long time to realize that I couldn't have dairy. Like, that dairy was affecting me. I didn't... I don't think I actually noticed for... Oh, man. I must have been at least, like, maybe in middle school before I stopped having anything dairy-related on a regular basis. I mean, like, it's tough, though, because... Like, what, what kind of dairy-related things do we all love? Like, like, a cheese pizza, an ice cream cone... I don't know, stuff like that. Sometimes just a glass of milk in the middle of the night to fight off the, the scary demons in my closet. Whatever you're into. All right. Oh, I see it. Oh, we're getting a lot of star bits in this one. Let's get at least. I right, just gotta be able to get it. All right. Can we do it on the first try? Get away from me. Nope. <laughs> that is too bad. All those lives that we got from the Oh, okay, well, just another attempt to get more star bits, I suppose. But yeah, anyway, I, uh, wasn't eating cereal a lot once I was, like, a teenager, because I realized that it was destroying my stomach. It didn't stop me from eating dairy in general. I mean, it probably should have, but I at least was a little bit more responsible about it. Emphasis on a little. I still have from time to time, but I actually have a dairy supplement, like a lactate. Oh my gosh. 
that I take instead. This is getting me close to like 200 star bits though. I guess that's kind of nice. Less grind and then I'm gonna have to do... What are your favorite types of uh, cereals? Viewers, huh? When I realized that I couldn't have cereals in their milk-laden form, I would sometimes have a bowl of dry cereal just to like kind of munch on it. You take a bag of that with you to work or to an event or something and eat that as a little sneak. What I need to do here is just slow it down and not panic as much. Maybe I can just get rid of the chomp and take my time. How about you get out of here? How about you? Yeah, there we go. Now I can take my time because you don't have to take that platform if you don't want. I don't have to rush. I don't have to Tom Sawyer. Woo! Okay, very nice. Felt pretty nice about that one. Pretty good, pretty good. I oh, like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I was a big fan of that. It's a tasty treat. Cinnamon's a nice flavor. It can be very overwhelming though, so... That's one of the things that you just gotta be careful with. Alright, and that was star number four, so we've got two left today. I <laughs> like how in the background level was like, uh -huh. You betcha, Mario. <laughs> Alright, so this looks like a beat block galaxy. I imagine this one's probably gonna be on the weird pyramid of cubes at the end that I very routinely fall through. This is a life pro hack. If you've ever had Cocoa Puffs, which are little chocolate spheres, if you like to have those chocolate balls in your mouth, it's perfect for you. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's horrible. That's gonna be miserable. But, uh, those are good. Mix those with some Reese's Puffs. I know the Reese's Puffs as well are, uh, like chocolate and kind of peanut butter meant to simulate a Reese's Cup, which is one of my favorite candies. Candy. Um, but, yeah, Reese's Puffs, Cocoa Puffs, the Duality of Man. You can honestly question your life after you've had that, like, what have I been doing that I haven't taken the time to have Reese's Puffs and Cocoa Puffs in the same bowl? I totally understand. It honestly kind of put me into shock a little bit, so... A little bit of chocolate. Ha! <laughs> See what I did there. Oops. <laughs> Got a little too excited on that one. But don't worry, more star bits abound. This episode's actually been really favorable for uh, Starbit Collection. I'm pretty pumped about that. For this one, you gotta take your time. You don't wanna have to deal with gaps in the level that you're gonna fall through, but we're getting a lot of Starbits today. I'm pretty feeling pretty confident that I'll be happy about this. I can predict that future me will be very pleased. Oops, backtrack. Oh. Let's grab this one. I'm kind of goofing. Kind of boot scoot goofing over here a little bit. Alright. And there's that. Ah, hurry! Okay, oof. Oh, there's a life. Nope, I didn't get it. <laughs> there was a life, that is accurate. I did not acquire said life. Ooh, I thought I got sucked into some sort of like a weird gravity trap there. That was bad. We also have a hundo, though. This should give us a hundo. Nice. That's a life. Poifect. All right, now where is that gosh dang star? I'm gonna start on the corner over here real quick. I think I can hear it. I wonder if I have to like jump from the top of the thing, maybe? Let's start at the top. Nope. We'll just die. Sometimes in life you just gotta, you know, do a quick reset. Uh, okay. So it's right there. Hmm. I feel like I'm just gonna have to kind of like triple jump off the top, off the top rope. D Mike from the top rope. I used to watch some wrestling as a kid. Like, oop, I was almost death. My, uh, my grandpa on my, on my mom's side, he and I would watch together and it would make my mom very mad. I don't know... I think I can long jump to it. Maybe I can? Let's try it. 
Nope. Oop. <laughs> Maybe I can side flip it. Um, we'll try it. We'll do anything for you, viewers. This is gonna be the one that gives me the most trouble, even though it's not really that complicated. Oh no. Crap. <laughs> oh man. This one's giving me some trouble. The second to the last one of the day, of course, is going to be the one that causes me all kinds of frustrations. But I'm getting a lot of star bits. So, future D-Mike, you are welcome. Thanks, Patch D-Mike. That is not edited in. I just did that right now. So, it's kind of a lie. And we can almost get it from there. Almost. Filled on my bones. I got the Silver Star cheering me on. Come on, D-Mike, you can do it. It's just a basic side flip, you dummy. Okay. Maybe it's not. I don't trust the triple jump, so... Ugh, that's really tricky to get. So probably should not stand on that. <laughs> Knowing my luck. Ugh. Come on. Am I not? That looked right. I don't think I can do a triple jump off one cube. And timing this is going to be miserable, so we're going to try it though. <laughs> we'll get it, viewers. I promise. As embarrassing as this is in the present. Okay. The side flip was appropriate. We did it. Together as friends. Okay. I mean, you know, six stars in an episode. That seems to be pretty reasonable given the nature that I don't even know what this final one's going to be, so. Okay. Maybe this one will be fun. Maybe we'll get to use Yoshi or something. Had his help in the... Oh, wait. Excuse me? Lubba? Oh, nope. I have no friends, so... All I have are viewers like you. Who are my friends, sort of? We're all friends, viewers, don't worry. At D-Mike Industries, we pride ourselves on having a monicum of friendship at the ground floor. Here we go. Bowser Jr.'s fearsome fleet. What do friends do? They like, comment, and subscribe on videos. Subscribe, like, comment on videos. Subscribe to channels. That makes sense. You don't subscribe to videos. You can subscribe because of a video. Maybe you love this video so much that you will subscribe to it. And that would bless my heart. Okay. Here we go. I've got a feeling that this star, as the Bowser levels have been kind of known to be so far in this green star collectathon, it's gonna probably be a bit of a butt. Just mentally preparing myself for the horrors that await us. These electric boys trying to get up in our business. Platform me, bro. There we go. Woo! I like that Yoshi does kind of walk it a little bit faster of a clip than Mario does. That's nice. It's kind of annoying having Mario be so slow. Yoshi's like, guys, boots on the ground, let's go. I'm literally wearing boots. And two pairs of boots is better than one pair of boots. That's boot scooting, right there. Okay. Oh, I didn't know you could get star bits for killing that dude. Whoop. No, no, everything's horrible. No, what is happening? Yoshi, come back. Okay. The day is saved, everything is fine. Viewers, I told you not to panic, and you didn't listen. What did I say? Killing the Monty Moles, though, does give you... Sturbits? We will ignore killing this guy, though. Oh, I guess I did need to do that. I didn't realize there was a third bullet build generator. But now we just have to, like, slowly inch towards death. As the game is like, you're fine, here is a Sling Star. Does anybody remember Sling Stars? It's been a hot minute. Okay, so I do need one of these. Whoa. Do I need you to quit? Can I get over here? Ooh, just barely? No. Oh my gosh. Quit. Stop. 
That is enough. We'll grab the safety coin. <laughs> Look how Yoshi's mouth is exploding with uh, the bullet bill tucked between his lips. Do dinosaurs have lips? Is that a thing? Alright, so it's... If I had to guess, it's gonna be on one of these dumb ships. Let's see it. Uh, maybe not that first one? Let's try the second one. I can kind of hear it a little bit. Alright, let's ignore the... Alright, this is... I, th I can hear it coming out more this way. Can I... Oh my gosh. Oh no! <laughs> Yoshi, no! No, Yoshi, stay! Yoshi, you look so confused. I'm sorry, buddy. No, come back! Stay, Yoshi. I'm here for you. Alright, maybe we eliminate some threats real quick. Yeah, you get out of here. Can't have you trying to ruin my day here. Alright, let's climb the mast. Oh no. Oh no, everything's horrible. Everything's horrible! Okay, I don't remember where the last checkpoint was. <laughs> Oof. Is it close? Yeah, okay. I've had worse. That's what she said. Okay, here we go. We're going to open up the dome again. Get some dome. And... Oh, can, they're even, like... <laughs> exploding in Yoshi's mouth. You don't want someone to explode in your mouth. Or maybe you do, I don't know. Whatever you're into, I'm not judging. Okay, here we go. Don't really need that, but I do want to eradicate the hammer bro. There's no bro of mine. Okay, so we were pretty close. Need to walk the plank here. It's kind of tough to do. The platform itself. It's not really easy to see where the collision happens. All right, just a little bit more. A little more. No, stop. All right, rewind. Another take. I was pretty close that time, actually. I felt pretty good about it. Right, I think it was like, coming up this side. And I'm like not, I'm not moving the joystick on the nunchuck very much. So this is pretty finicky. We'll say that. I gotta just give it enough space that the bullet bill will careen off to the side. Send that away. We don't have time for that. Easy. Easy, Yoshi. Can you quit? I am busy right now. Okay. I don't think I can just flutter jump to it, so... There it is. Oof. That one looked a little bit worse than it was. Just had to be very careful on the tip, as you should always be. Okay, so that wasn't too bad, huh? We had a lot of fun discussion today. Got a lot of star bits, to be honest. That is six stars complete. Not as many star bits in that level as I would have liked. Let's go ahead and pop into Mr. Bank Toad. We're getting close to the 4,000 mark, which is good. That's about halfway there. We're halfway there. We're gonna make it, I swear. Okay, so there we go. Well, that's all the time we've got for today. Like the video if you haven't, comment if you'd enjoy that do, doing that too, and subscribe and get the notification bell, whatever. So thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Super Mario Galaxy 2, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!